Good morning, Tank Chums. Well, I tried recording this episode like a dozen times at least, and basically every game that I have played this morning has been like this, where I am at the bottom up against some tanks that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do a huge amount with, or a huge amount to. It. So my expectations for today are incredibly low, and I'm going to record this and I don't care how it goes. I Now, I know that really what I should do is take a break. I should go. I'm not going to bother trying to make this work. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to come at it with a fresh pair of eyes. Maybe get a hot drink. But no. This is the dark side of World of Tanks. Where you just sort of feel like there is nothing that you can do to really make a difference in the game. That feeling that you have been utterly defeated and the matchmaking system is not on your side at all. But who knows, maybe this will be the game that lifts me from my funk. I didn't think that you know, yesterday's game the Cromwell was going to go well, but it, it went alright, you know, it, it, it went better than alright, it was, it was bloody brilliant, but, well, no, uh, it's parking this bush. And wait, I'll wait it out, see how the map unfolds. Let's listen to that engine idling away. Enjoy the gentle sound of the breeze. Brum. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to move up. I'm not going to get anything done at all. Which is... Not hugely likely, but oh, what are we up against the side? That was a T. That's a T. It's twenty-five. Tell our team dead already. That's not good. And a T thirty-four. Okay, so I'm up against equivalent tanks here, which isn't. Which is good. Maybe we can push through here. Oh, I did something. There we go. Job's good. Isn't. What the hell is that? Oh, for one sec. Oh, golly. I'm not up against the cliff tanks. T34 85 is just bait. It was just bait. They're down one. I'm guessing that the city is not going to go well. Yeah. Man, there is no fucking way in hell I'm going to get there and be able to do much of it. To do anything here. Penetration. Enemy armor is damaged. Like, mate, we've got our own problems. We've all got problems. It's just ours are a little more pressing right now. That's not a. That one didn't go through. Oh, right. He's 
this side taken care of? Yes. Is the other side taken care of? Yes, but not in the way that I'd like. Is my engine damaged? Yes, it is. My top speed is now probably 30, which is not ideal. But now that side's taken care of, we can sort of swing around and hopefully pull in some damage on this side. Although there are some, I note there are some large tanks over there, and my tank is not a large tank. And crucially, my tank is also very, 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 very hurt. It is, in fact, as you say, a little knacked up. It is all kinds of fucked up. Yep. Yep, that's, that's happening. That's a whole mess of tanks I cannot hope to deal with at all. New plan. Let's just go. You know, if they're gonna, if they're gonna wait for me to come down that road, they've got another thing coming. I am not playing that game. It's not a game I'm interested in playing. It's not World of Tanks and shooting a barrel of fish mode. And this is how it ends. Twenty-two hit points left up against a tank too injured to flank it. Yeah. Rolling back. And there we go. Weird A44 thing. What a strange tank. Well, there you go. That is basically pretty much how every game I've had got has gone so far today. But, you know, that wasn't actually too bad. We didn't, did we get a kill? No. Did we do any damage? Well, no. Are we going to win? I mean, this Panther 38 is... He's on something of a rampage, and... I think the A44 is pretty intact, and the WZ11111111111 is also pretty intact. But it's that, yeah, it's that engine damage that really just screwed me over. I, to, I mean, I repaired the tracks, which which helps, but going from 55 kilometers an hour to 30 is. Not great. I swear I've seen Phaser Freak before, and I think he's done well. I'm feeling confident. But I like that the team's sticking together. There's two tank enemy tanks left. Going to form a defensive sort of position. And T-34A5 is actually in pretty good nick. 618. Alright, his engines. <laughs> Everyone's got engine troubles today. Oh no, well, we might be settling in for a long one, but I'm confident. I got a tier 7 and a tier 8 versus our pair of tier 8s and a tier 6. There's more guns on our side. I fear they might have more hit points though. This is tense. Real tense. Everyone is waiting. Got the binoculars, I'll spot them if they come. Good job. That's my tank. Panther. Well, I mean, at least all of his systems are intact. Hit points, a little lacking, but. Oh. 
Yeah. <laughs> this is... I don't usually stick around for games as this long. Like, normally if I'm not recording, I won't watch. But this is kind of curious. <sighs> Who is going to... I mean, the enemy team might be very well just going to go, well, we'll sit it out for five minutes, you know, we'll we'll force a draw, which would be a little disappointing. But this is now a game of patience. Who is who is going to wait the longest? Whose patience will break? Yeah, guess they camp also. Yeah, that is probably a safe bet. But let's see. Oh no, Charity, you you dangerous motherfucker. Oh. This is a risk. A risk and a half. I mean, you've got 700 hit points. You shouldn't... Barring something very unlucky happening, you should be able to take... You should be able to get shot at at least once and not die. Oh no. <clears throat> Aha! It's unfortunate. But. Yeah, have a look, see where that A44 is. Yeah, I mean, he's obviously moved since he killed me. That's. That's a given. Oh, this is a bit tense, isn't it? Not how I expected to spend this morning. Don't want to look at that. Let's not look at that. Let's follow the T-34A5. Five T-34s. Oh, no. Three minutes to go. So 700 hit points. So exactly equivalent to the charity in terms of hit points now. That A44, no one's got, had eyes on him for a while though, which is a bit scary. He could just be waiting. Oh, they are super split up though. A44 is... No! Oh no! And now we have a problem. They are caught between the rock and the hard place. The A44 is surprisingly nippy. The trap was set and sprung very effectively. <laughs> They're covering each other. That's kind of cute. Oh, that is a shame. Yeah, it was a valiant effort. But there's just not nothing to be done there. Well, well played. Good game. <laughs>